Now, if you can't find fish heads in your town for whatever reason, maybe you live in Colorado or Wyoming and you just cannot find whole fish heads, you can go to the Asian supermarket and you can buy Bonito Flakes. Now, what are Bonito Flakes, for heaven's sake? Bonito Flakes are dried, fermented um, skipjack tuna. And let me show you what these little flakes look like. They're really small little bits. And they smell very smoked, like a very mild smoked fish. They almost make a smell like smoked uh, salmon, if you've ever tried that. And you can purchase this at Asian supermarkets. And I purchased this at our Asian supermarket here in town. And you get, um, this package has five little packages. Each packet is a quarter cup of Bonito Flakes. And I got this five packet package for $2.69. And this will make a little over a half a gallon of Bonito broth. And Bonito broth is really fast to make. You can see there's no bones here. It's simply the dried fermented meat of the skipjack tuna. And you can make it super fast. In Japan, it's very traditional to drink Bonito broth as the base for miso soup. And in fact, there was a, a randomized scientific study in 2008 that studied elderly Japanese patients. And they found that over the course of a month, compared with those that just drank plain water, those that consumed Bonito broth on a daily basis after a month period of time had better emotional state, a more happy emotional state, and their systolic blood pressure was much, much improved from the elderly subjects that did not consume the Bonito broth. Bonito broth in Japan is a traditional remedy for fatigue, colds and to improve circulation. So uh, the Japanese, they're one of the healthiest cultures on earth and have been so for many, many generations. So, you know, if you want a very fast, quick fish stock that tastes delicious either on its own or as a base for miso soup, you can try some Bonito broth. Let me show you how fast it is to make. Right here in this dish, I have two of those packets I just showed you and so that makes about a half a cup of bonito broth. It looks like a lot more than that, but there's a lot of air. These things are really light. So once you pack it into a cup, this actually is a half a cup. So you're gonna take a half a cup of bonitos, bonito flakes, and you're gonna take a quart of filtered water. You're gonna pour the filtered water into a pan and turn it on to boil. And when it comes on to boil, I'll show you what to do next, but basically you just put the, put the flakes in there. You remove it from the heat once it comes to a boil, put the flakes in there and wait a few minutes for them to go to the bottom, which takes anywhere from three to five minutes. I'll pick it up at that point. As you can see, the water is boiling here and it's only taken a couple of minutes. So we're gonna turn off the heat and remove the pan from the heat. Then we're gonna take our half a cup of Bonito um, flakes and pour them in. Move it around a little bit. And as you can see, the Bonito Flakes are floating on the top. We're just gonna leave it off the heat for a few minutes. It takes about three to five minutes. And all of these flakes are gonna sink to the bottom. It's only been about three to four minutes and the Bonito Flakes have completely sunk to the bottom of the pan, as you can see. Now, some of you may be wondering why we don't simmer Bonito broth, you know, for a few hours like we do fish heads. And the reason for that is because we don't have any bones in this. This is actually just dried, fermented skipjack tuna. It's, it's just meat um, that's been dried. So we don't have any bones that we need to simmer to draw the minerals out. So this is, re this is why Bonito broth is so incredibly quick. So all the flakes have sunk to the bottom. We're simply going to strain out those flakes now. and your bonito broth is ready to go. You can actually use this as a base for any sort of a gumbo or a uh, fish soup, whatever kind of fish soup you wanna make. I've got two tablespoons of miso here and you can just go ahead and stir that in. This is what they do in Japan, just mix in some miso. And that'll take a couple minutes to mix up and you will have a delicious miso soup that will rival anything that you would have in the finest Japanese restaurants around town. Let's taste the results. Miso soup is a real favorite around our house. 
and this is gourmet quality so unbelievably delicious you need to make it for your family and you cannot get I mean Campbell's eat your heart out this is healthy it's as inexpensive as a couple cans of Campbell's soup from the supermarket and there's nothing in it but bonito flakes dried skipjack tuna you just bring on a pot of water to boil mix in a half a cup of flakes and uh, it's ready in moments mix in some miso paste if you'd like what could be easier and if you're wondering why we removed the pot from the heat remember that these bonito flakes are fermented as is the miso paste and if you boil and a fermented product you're going to uh, eliminate all the probiotic and beneficial enzymes that have been created as a part of the fermentation process so that's why we bring the water to a boil we remove it from the heat and then we add our flakes and our miso as traditionally done in Japan and as you can see I've only mixed in the miso a minute or so ago and it's room temperature I can easily drink it and it's not too hot it doesn't burn me and that is the indication that the enzymes and the probiotics in the fermented aspect of the miso and the bonito flakes have been retained